بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today video is uh, from uh, assembly topic and the previous uh, class we learned about how to create uh, not creep or creating but just we uh, made introduction to assembly assembly is a basic uh, like central line in as a, a typical section uh, there is central line for a typical section in AutoCAD and also in Civil 3D uh, so when I click uh, here in the assembly it asking for the name of the this assembly suppose it's a road or main road or a link road or connection or sub road anything so I will give main road the name it's main road then here uh, there are a type of the assemblies suppose your road is undivided crown road this uh, undivided planar road divided crown road divided planar road railway other you can select here from uh, from here this is assembly style uh, how you will assembly will be looking when you creating so uh, from here if you go inside uh, the you may know how what are here the the marker style the display uh, here for the information so here uh, you can uh, the change the assembly style and the code set style so what is the code uh, set style uh, today we will talk on uh, this uh, code set style so uh, if I go inside this uh, the code uh, uh, information here the basically our uh, uh, assembly uh, our lane is uh, made of three uh, things the first thing is uh, uh, code uh, then the second thing is line and the third uh, thing is shape when I will create you will understand that and uh, if you go inside here you will see this link point and shape so uh, the th third is assembly layer so from here you can uh, create a different layer for your assembly or you can uh, let us curve so uh, it's asking for somewhere you should place uh, here so if you see this is the simple center line in AutoCAD uh, cross section we have a central line then there is a right and left side lane uh, this is assembly the same like this uh, is uh, in uh, civil 3d this is assembly is a central line now if you click on the this assembly there is uh, a tool palette here if you can see control plus 3 you can create it for um, here or this uh, here or the shortcut control plus 3 you enter it will uh, appear here so uh, you, you can see there is tab on this uh, it's the uh, like a box uh, a table or a dialing box you can see here you can move up and down from here you can uh, take you to anywhere you want you can shift this one and from the here if you the, the arrow appear here I will take it here so on this side if there is arrow you can uh, increase the, the the width of this uh, box like this okay so uh, the first uh, tab is assemblies assembly these are the, the already prepared assembly inside the civil 3d so if you click here and the name of this assembly is uh, basic assembly if you click outside here you can see already they have created uh, the lane on the right side and on the left side and whenever you select anything here uh, from this uh, table uh, on the left side uh, or on the right side there will be a, a box appear with this uh, the data you can call it the data box or the, the information box about this uh, if if uh, you did not change anything 
uh, from the start you can click here and it and you can uh, change from here uh, this uh, some the property and from here you can change the now it's asking for the some select assembly cell for this one and here uh, this information and this the parameter what I selected it's showing this 3.6 minus 2 percent the slope the width and many things you can uh, check here the so uh, we will come uh, back after this uh, this uh, from here uh, you can change the uh, some assembly uh, the pro from the properties uh, we will discuss this uh, in detail now you can see this the uh, standard yeah the, okay, the uh, from the, the basic if i change to basic now you can see this uh, you can change from the control plus one from here the, this is the name and uh, here the port set style from here you can uh, see view edit if you change view edit now you can see the scale uh, must be adjusted uh, from here if you did looking good now you can see the slope uh, toward uh, here uh, two percent slope is outside in here this uh, this showing the this labels uh, are showing uh, you the each point which I talk already so uh, and from the start what I was talking this the, the assembly is uh, uh, composed this uh, the structure of the assembly is composed of three things the first thing is are the point you can see this the point any point uh, from here you can see is the point is here is the point and you hover the cursor here it's uh, showing the basic curve girder right side it's the name the layer the corset style and the top curve the point code is top curve okay so this the codes the again this the, the other are the link these are the link this line these are the link these have the link and the shape uh, if I will select again here this assembly control one and I, I if I select from here anything all uh, all uh, code no display there is all code with the uh, shape because I uh, all code here and this all code with hatching now you can see here so uh, this the H uh, so from the these assembly are composed from three things what the the code the link and the shape uh, okay the codes are uh, important for if we if we want to put label here to know the elevation from this this offset and elevation for this point the code is in, are important for this the links are important if you you already you saw here this was minus two percent slope so for the link we can put uh, slopes uh, and here the shapes from the shape we can calculate the material material of the structure of the assembly so these uh, are the three most important thing and uh, uh, discussing this thing with you so when we will start creating assembly you will know each and everything so that time I will not uh, uh, go to detail like this so that's why the, from the start I am discussing everything so you will know about everything so this part is separate from the other one you can see this part so these are from where this, uh, these uh, uh, came uh, these parts this main lane this curve girder and this sidewalk this came uh, from this this tool pallet this uh, from this tool pallet there is so uh, that's why before starting on the assembly uh, creating assembly I want you know age and everything inside this uh, uh, this toolbox or mm, this tool pallets okay so uh, when uh, you enter uh, control plus 3 or you create from here these are the first step in first step you can uh, increase the height from here there is already created assembly in this uh, matrix the next thing is uh, the basic basic uh, thing are the basic lane the basic uh, lane transition generic uh, 
फेमस स्ट्रक्चर शेप ट्रिपिजाइडल बेसिक शोल्डर बेसिक कर्ब बेसिक कर्ब एंड गर्डर लाइक हीयर जिस द कर्ब एंड गर्डर हीयर जिस द बेसिक साइड स्लोप डिच सो एवरी टाइम यू आर क्रिएटिंग बिफोर क्रिएटिंग एनीथिंग यू शुड राइट क्लिक हीयर एंड गो टू हेल्प before using something suppose if, if i want to use this uh, payment uh, general payment structure so you uh, must go to the properties here okay the first thing here is uh, generic uh, the name of the, this sub assembly create a simple payment structure with user defined fonts link and shape code okay this edge you can create only here in this uh, generic payment structure sometime we need this edge so there is option inside uh, this generic payment structure uh, normally if you uh, create this uh, outside there is no no edge inside here if you create right side okay you can see there is nothing so uh, from where you will get this uh, if i again go to the help here and this uh, the, this uh, showing that there is a width this uh, there is a shift width and this uh, is uh, edge slope depth and uh, cross slope so uh, when you go to this uh, the property of uh, this uh, the basic uh, generic payment structure the Uh, properties you will uh, many thing there you will you will do uh, not know about uh, these things so that's why i told and suppose uh, from here if i go on coming here this what is the shift width i don't know what is the shift width so for that purpose you will uh, go to the help and from here is the shift width so uh, like this before creating anything you should go inside the properties or the help of this assembly and you should know about all the the data about this uh, the code the shape the link about this attachment input parameter input parameter what is an input parameter the parameter first parameter is side side okay description indicate which side this assembly is inserted toward when you are creating it's ask already i when i created uh, it's asking me which side you want right side and on the left by default there is right side i did not give any side so it's creating on the right right side the width the shift width uh, the default cross slope the everything here is uh, uh, written in the detail okay Uh, there is a target this uh, section listed parameter is in the sub assembly that can be mapped out to one or more target objects you can target this uh, object uh, to a surface uh, or a corridor like okay parameter uh, width uh, edge elevation there is optional okay the out behavior this sub assembly uh, built is a, a scale skeletal sub assembly that let you so you should read everything then again this coding diagram there is quite coding diagram point 1 this point 4 point and this the links link 1 link 2 3 4 and uh, this compose this uh, shape is composed on this point and link so uh, here from here you will know these uh, things the the main thing uh, use super elevation is a, a slope direction like it's supposing uh, uh, so su uh, support the super elevation are not supporting like this you you may will know from here okay so uh, from here now if you came here you will, you will know what is the shift with suppose this uh, the line a uh, default cross slope is minus 2 use super elevation this by default no so if you can use this this is right side outside lane so you can select here away from crown okay uh, what uh, what thing is we are using for this nose uh, this nose is uh, deflect outer vertical plane there is no so when i uh, put yes and you will see now in apply now you can see 
this type of shoulder always there is in the cross section typical cross section so you can use this uh, if you want to create your own uh, typical section so uh, you must use this lane this is gender pavement structure it's also supporting uh, the super elevation so uh, from here this inside top point code there is no code inside now you can see uh, inside top point code there is nothing none if you go here to this uh, this sub assembly property here if I, I come here and I click here there I say there is no code there is code says style but no code for here if you uh, go, come here this is a check here they are uncoded from the last point code there is uncoded so what is the benefit of code if you have code with the name you can uh, put the the label to the different suppose i want only to here this edge so you can create label like like here if every uh, point uh, co uh, this code have the code name so uh, you can uh, create a label for each one suppose uh, when i will change the style for this control one you can see now there are different type of There, there are codes set style for a different assembly so from here now you can see the, the, the elevation from here is from the center it is uh, the distance is 3 meter and this uh, because the slope is minus 2 percent so it's 6 centi down this point from this point so it's showing age and everything this uh, the point uh, sets uh, the assembly codes set style we will make uh, we will discuss it later but now only we are discussing this uh, this tool pilot what is inside this so these are the basic thing you may know because uh, you should know each thing inside this uh, basic lane or inside this lane because sometimes when you need something uh, you oh, must know where this is and this thing will be i i will pound where uh, the thing i need where i will pound inside which tape i will pound so uh, one by one we will discuss these all things so far today only these things uh, so inside the assembly there is a already created assembly you should try uh, each one so you will know uh, how you will uh, you should try click here and click outside here and from here you will know which assembly has a curve gutter which assembly have uh, don't have curve gutter like here the curve slope you can uh, adjust a divided highway if you check here the divided highway this one the way where there is median inside the the highway normally mostly highways are like this there is uh, uh, a back pill sand back pill like uh, here and uh, rounding under the shoulder so you should try this thing and you must check this all one by one and the basic lane the basic lane there is basic lane there is if i i, I create this basic lane there is uh, on the left side okay because i, I already there is there is a different type of basic lane so these two assembly and basic lane we discuss today uh, in the next class we will discuss more so when we are creating assembly we will know about each and everything okay thank you